hello everybody today I'm going to show you what sold yesterday and what I'm shipping out today there's quite a few things that were 15 items for like 280 bucks so it was a good day just in case you're wondering for me um, this is my full-time income a full-time eBayer and part-time amateur youtuber here um, my break-even on eBay to just pay the monthly budget for this month happens to be about $90 a day is what I need to clear just to pay the bills. So yesterday being 280 was pretty good. The day before was like 59 and some change. That was bad. So I call it making budget. I try to keep this as as much as like a, a business that as I can just to I'm familiar with the terminology and it just works in my brain because I was doing it for so long. Not that I was this hotshot businessman. I wasn't, but anyway, let's get into it. First thing, so I've sold both of these to the same lady. I sell a lot of Barbies because they're easy to sell and people like them. And usually I can find them cheap. I got these for um, $6 each, I think. $6 each. They're the birthstone one. And they're from the 2010. So they're not that old. You can tell because the barcode starts with a different number. It's more of a modern barcode. You'll If you get into Barbies, you'll know. Anyway, older Barbies are always good. Tip on, wow, poofy head. Tip on uh, Barbies. If the box is not in good condition, like that one there, make sure you take pictures of it and tell them about it in your description. So that'll go out. This probably... Because I ship these in a box, the, the older Barbies, um, it'll go priority, pirate ship, you know the deal. Next thing I got for free from my wife. My wife sells the, the Kelly dolls, which is the younger sister of Barbie, but she got one of these in one of the lots she ordered. Don't know what it is, don't care, but I sold it for $12. Got it for free. Next thing, oh, I didn't pull that, so we'll skip that. This thing. Got it for 50 cents. This was actually the first thing, just to tell you, it's 2021 right now. I bought this in the summer of 19, 2019. That's how long I've had this item. I don't care because it just sits and it doesn't bother me. It doesn't wake up and scream at me for, for milk or anything. It just sat in its little tote, bought it for 50 cents and sold it for $11. So we've got the space. I don't mind holding on to stuff. Now, I hope that I've, I've given you guys tips. I will, of course, continue to give you guys tips on finding free things or very low cost things and also obscure things to sell. Some people will only sell one category. That's fine. I'll sell everything and anything. I don't care if there's money to be made in it. I'll try to learn about it and I'll sell it. So going into that, I, I have these. These are UA cups. My former employee they used to have to perform UAs, it's when you pee in the cup. Um, the company came out and said they didn't need to anymore and we had about eight cases of these and ooh, I wanna say the cases had a couple hundred, I can't see from here, but I had four cases, I'm down to two, and I sell them for about a dollar each, it's about $12 for 12 of them. They ship in one of these guys, a big bubble mailer, if you just squeeze the air out. They'll all fit and they ship first class. So always be on the lookout. Let people know. I'm Mr. Shy Pants. I didn't tell anybody what I do. Now I'm starting to tell them what I do and you get leads like this. Um, in fact, the way I, one of the ways I found a bunch of other stuff was my boss had told me to clean out the storage room. He was the newer boss and he said, you sell stuff on eBay. Why don't you go take whatever you want that we don't need. Just run it by me first. If you want it, you can have it. Sell it on eBay, just get it out of the out of the storage room. So that's what I did, and I've sold quite a few things from that. It's all free. It just takes your back and your mouth to let people know what you're doing. Uh, the next thing is, of course, my favorite, you know, uh, another Barbie. This is an older one. If you can tell the barcode, see how it says 0742? That means that that's older. It's not like really, really old. But it's not a modern one, and I'm no expert, but C97. So I don't know when the cutoff is. But, for example, if I also sold this, this is the one I picked up yesterday. It's in the video from yesterday. Um, that's actually a, a 742 also, so that's a little older. But you look at this Barbie. This is from 2010. 
that's a 746 and I I wish I had a more modern Barbie around here to show you I think the modern Barbies are 746 so or you could just look at the year I don't know why I'm overcomplicating it but this big girl sold for 26 free shipping of course I do not charge for shipping um, next thing I sold this and you know I'm a big fan of the the vintage glassware this is a corningware it does it sold for yeah $27 free ship and it does have a chip which I included in the description and this will cost no more than $10 to ship on the pirate ship no I'm not affiliated but pirate ship if you want to pay me let me know I don't care uh, 50 cent totem pole right here from Canada it's that brand Boma everyone walk past this that's the aisle I like to go to when kind of like my last resort I haven't found much let's go to the old lady collectible aisle and find things like this 50 cent turn it into 11 you can't beat that you just can't well I guess you can 50 cent into 100 would have been cool but whatever money's money uh, and let's see a couple other things here this lady here this is Scarlett O'Hare she's from the movie Gone with the Wind she's the main character this is also 742 so this is a uh, where's the town probably 90s yeah late 90s um, she sold for 50 all of the Barbies I got on that that lot were probably about seven dollars each some are selling for 20 free ship which means the margin uh, probably make 10 or so but then a lot of them were these bigger collectible ones so you know you make your money up there one thing about gone with the wind stuff the woke crowd whether you agree with them or not I'm not here to say whether right or wrong whatever but gone with the wind is one of the things that's kind of been targeted as not cool not PC not you know it's kind of cancel culture type of thing um, because of the subject matter of the movie supposedly I've never seen it so um, I'm surprised this didn't get pulled I have a um, I sold Gone with the Wind DVDs but I had a, a Mammy she's the a character from Gone with the Wind a teapot really cool I bought it from the same place as the Barbies I bought it for 30 listed it for 150 they're really rare especially new in box and they pulled my listing because it's offensive so just be careful of course you can't do anything I don't know why you would but nothing Nazi nothing nothing in that even spectrum nothing slavery nothing that depicts anybody any sort of group it, it doesn't matter which in some sort of derogatory light some of you can I mean you could get away with it probably but if they catch you they'll warn you if they catch you again then you're done um, so just be careful um, this didn't have anything offensive about it I don't think it was just the character but oh that's the other thing confederate flags anything like that is no good so you know just if you have that and you want to sell it eBay won't let you I don't think Mercari will try Facebook marketplace stuff like that I don't know what I'm gonna do with my mammy teapot I might keep it and I don't know or maybe I'll sell it on something else we'll see so anyway that's my spiel on that then we got this one this was the dolls of the world I bought it yesterday for three dollars from a garage sale again I'll say it again it's worn there and it's got some damage there on that corner both had their own pictures with close-ups and brightened the picture so they could see exactly because if you think this is new in box and you get it and you go what in the heck is this crap this is not good for my collection but if you know it and of course I um, reduced the price by about 10 bucks from the solds last thing um, I have a what is it a dyno uh, label rate the label writer for XL the dyno label printer basically and when I first ran out of labels I needed new labels and I ordered these by mistake like a dumbbell so I have six of these um, I hate returning things so I just took what I had and listed them and they sold uh, these two for twelve dollars so they oh wait hello oh there's more stuff that sold that I haven't pulled yet all right I guess I won't bore you with that stuff I'll just show you this last thing because this was pretty cool um, yeah it's a woman's scent control real tree hunting deal uh, the price tag is not on it anymore it was two dollars two dollars Walmart clearance sold it for 
25. So that's more than 10 times your money. A lot of these things are more than 10 times your money um, or better because I got them for free. Um, I bought, they put these out, you know, the entrance to Walmart, they were closing them out and I bought all of them. I bought the the camo shirts that are like bug control. I bought these, I bought the vests, I bought everything because the most expensive things were the men's version of this was four. And I spent like, I don't know, $100 or so and I bought them all and they just sit right over there in a little tote, minding their own business. And I sell them every once in a while. And if you know, you're going to see in an upcoming video another thing I got from the thrift store. But I'm a big fan, like, like these things that I got yesterday. A big fan of buying in bulk and having one listing just making it rain on me. I'm not getting rich from selling canning wax, but I have canning wax. I have the hunting clothes. I have these things that are one listing. And ching, 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 ching. You get a bunch of those. It's sweet. It's really sweet to just have one listing make you money until it sells out. So I am, I'm telling you this and I'm harping on this because I was someone who was really scared of two years ago, I would have found this deal on the hunting stuff and I would have said, well, okay, I'll just buy one of each because what if they don't sell and then I'll be stuck with them. Stupid. Over and over, I've gone over the scarcity mindset. I've gone over this in the video with eBay addicts. My wife didn't, I don't know if she got it or not, but I, I, I explained it to her. I kind of lectured people like I'm lecturing you. But for you people out there, especially the ladies, when you're dating and there was some guy, there's always that guy, I was probably one of them, that was always on your grill, always being nice to you, super nice, following around, holding your books, whatever the hell, just wouldn't leave you alone, little sad puppy dog. Did you like him? Hmm, you didn't because he, need, he was too needy. He wanted it too much. You didn't like that guy, right? I don't know if it's God or the universe or the eBay spirits, but if you try to force things, it's not going to happen. For example, yesterday, this might be another video, but yesterday or the day before, no sales. Um, did I quit? No. I just listed and listed and listed. And if I ever figure out how to show you <laughs> my graph while I'm in the video, besides pulling the stupid camera setup around, like all the cool YouTubers do, then someday I will show you. But it was actually on Tuesday was a $49 day, but then Wednesday was $143, Thursday was $176, and Friday was $265. So I was a little off. It was Tuesday that was a bummer day. So Tuesday, I don't know why it was a bummer day. Maybe nobody wanted to shop on Tuesday. Maybe there was a glitch. Who cares? I just still continued to execute. Today we're only at 87 but it's still... 1.30 my time, so we still have time. And it all averages out, so I'm not worried because my seven day average is good, my 31 day average is good, and we're still gonna do it. And even if it's not, it doesn't matter. We're gonna make a, a way to make this work because I'm not gonna go back and work for the man. Hell no. It's I'm having way too much time with my family. I just went out and suntanned. I mean, can you imagine this this Adonis-like body in a suntan? It's not a good scene. That's why I do it in the backyard. But, you know, sucking up the vitamin D, enjoying spring. Wow, we were rambling. Okay, so that's what I sold. UA cups and Barbies and a cool vintage Canadian Native American, or as they call, First Peoples totem pole. Well, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching.